Hey there, uh, John Halk here talking to you a little bit about the La Pavoni uh, uh, Lever Espresso Machine. Uh, today I'm going to um, take a peek inside the base of the espresso machine here. And so in order to get to this website, uh, type in uh, bit.ly slash cad with a uh, capital L, P, and C. And if you do that, uh, it should take you right to this screen here. And uh, you don't need to create an account or anything uh, at uh, uh, this website, but go over here and click the very leftmost uh, tab called Product, and we'll see the La Pavoni show up. And we're going to look at uh, generation three, two, th uh, generation two, th three, or four uh, uh, group head. Um, the boiler uh, sizes can be adjusted here from the Europeacola or the Professional. Uh, you can make the base black if you want, and uh, we'll ignore the Stradivaria base for now. And uh, change the color of the grate from black to chrome. That's all exciting. Uh, what I want to do, though, is take a look down here. There's this little button called Remove Bottom Cover. And if you watch down here at the bottom, uh, when I click that, uh, then the bottom cover is removed, and then we can take a peek underneath. And one way you can do that is click bottom over here on the uh, on the cube, uh, or you can uh, spin it around with your mouse. And what I just want to show you is the wiring harness uh, for the uh, for the Europeacola uh, model. And uh, so you can take a look to see how this is all wired together. Uh, orient you to a few of the components. Uh, the line in is coming over here. Ground is green. Black is the hot wire, and white is your neutral. You can see that the ground uh, turns to a yellow wire inside. It's grounded to the uh, frame uh, under here. And uh, you can kind of see the lug there. And it's also grounded to the base of the boiler. Uh, then you can see where the hot line and the neutral line come over here to power both the light and the switch and this light that says whether or not the boiler is currently heating. Uh, another important uh, piece is this pressure stat here. So this switch connects this wire here with that wire here, or basically uh, uh, connects this wire uh, with this wire down here. Uh, if the boiler pressure is below some determined pressure, typically about 0.6 bar or so. And then once it reaches about 0.8 bar, 0.75 to 0.8 bar, uh, then it uh, disconnects that and then the heater turns off. And uh, so that's why you have a copper pipe running from the boiler to the pressure switch so the pressure can actually sense the pressure inside the boiler. Uh, this piece right here is just a thermal fuse. This piece does not actually go through into the boiler. It's just mounted on the surface. What happens is if the boiler gets too hot for some reason, it will pop this uh, circuit breaker. And if we put the bottom cover back on, uh, then you'll see that there's actually a little rubber plug here um, in practice, I suppose, you could pull that plug out to try to reset that switch, um, or you can go buy yourself a, a, a torque screw and uh, try to take the bottom off there. That's a safety torque. Kind of hard to find sometimes, but uh, people should be able to help you find that um, at the hardware store. Um, so anyway, so there's that. And then the other thing we have here is that's the Europe Europeacola uh, switch system. And if you want to look at the wiring for the professional, you can click on professional over here and you'll see this change to a single uh, rocker switch and then you'll see the wiring down below for that as well. So feel free to check this out on your own. Uh, just uh, remember to click the bottom cover and before you go here make sure to click product over here on the left. Uh, enjoy!